So you're thinking about making the move to Carrollton, Texas, but you want to know the good and the bad before making the move to Carrollton. Well, today we're going to talk about the top five pros and cons of living in Carrollton. So stick around to the end of this video and you'll have a pretty good idea if Carrollton is right for you. If this is your first time to this channel and you want to know everything about living in Dallas, Texas, then subscribe below, tap the bell for notifications, and you can be the first to know what's happening in the Dallas market and surrounding areas like Carrollton. Hey, my name is Audrey with the Living in Dallas, Texas team. We get calls and emails every day from people just like you looking for help on making their move to Dallas, and we absolutely love it. So whether you're looking to move in nine days or 90 days, give us a call, shoot us a text, send us an email, and we would love to help you make a smooth move to Dallas. Welcome to Carrollton, Texas. Carrollton's home to about 135,000 people and growing quickly. It was previously recognized by Money Magazine as the 15th best place to live in the United States and by Forbes as the 12th best place to relocate. The reason for this is its central location. Carrollton, Texas is in the hub of several major highways and only about 15 to 20 minutes from both DFW Airport and Dallas Left Field Airport. It also hosts the DART Rail and has coined the place where connection happens. Carrollton hosts award-winning sports complexes, hiking and biking trails, and a pristine nature preserve. Though a thriving city, it's maintained its quaint downtown area with walkable shops and restaurants. According to the mayor, behind these charming brick facades, there is a sophisticated approach to sustainable development and economic vitality. Now that you know a little bit more about the city, let's get into the pros and cons of living in Carrollton. All right, now that you know a little bit about living in Carrollton, Texas, let's get into the top five pros of living in Carrollton. The first pro is affordability. So Carrollton's median price point right now is $377,000, making it a place that's somewhat easy uh, for first-time homebuyers to get into um, or people transitioning from a uh, first-time home purchase that they made elsewhere and you know growing their family a little bit and moving um, up to a tiny bit higher price point. So this is a really affordable amount, um, especially if you're moving in from California, from New York, uh, from another location where um, you may be used to having, you know, higher price points. So again, median price point, $377,000, making Carrollton uh, extremely affordable. All right, our second pro to living in Carrollton, Texas, is uh, that it's eclectic. So Carrollton is home to a wide variety of people, and that lends itself to uh, have a wide variety of restaurants to choose from, which is really fun. So you'll find everything from um, Babe's Chicken, which is the most amazing, like, hearty uh, deep fried chicken, um, mashed potatoes, like green beans, like that kind of um, just hearty Texas meal. Uh, everything from that to uh, really great Asian restaurants, really great Indian restaurants, um, lots of burger places, um, just some really cool local cuisine. Um, Carrollton is a melting pot of different cultures. And so all these, you know, people who've come into the area have built um, just really neat local shops and restaurants that are really fun to try out. Okay, so the third pro of living in Carrollton um, is that you get to enjoy the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve. Now, this preserve borders um, Carrollton and Plano and is uh, it's a 200 acre park uh, full of wildlife and hiking, biking, uh, really great trails that um, definitely make you feel like you've escaped the city and, you know, maybe taken a trip to quick you know, flight to Colorado or something where you're just in nature. Um, it's really beautiful and actually has a biofilter, um, cleans its own water. There's some really, really neat features um, to the Arbor Hills Nature Preserve. 
The fourth pro of living in Carrollton is its central location. So uh, it is in the hub of DFW. It is bordered by four major highways. So you have the Sam Rayburn Toll Road um, at your at the north side, and then you have um, the Dallas North Toll Road on the east side. You have I-635, which is a big loop on the south side, and then you have uh, the President George Bush Turnpike on the west. So you can hop on one of these highways very quickly and get to, you know, wherever it is you're going. If you're working, if you're playing um, outside of Carrollton, uh, it's really centrally located where, you know, you can just get on one of these highways and fly. Okay. And then last but not least is our fifth pro of living in Carrollton, we're going to piggyback off of our fourth pro um, and say that our fifth pro is actually proximity to airports. So Carrollton um, is actually a, about a 15 to 20 minute drive from both DFW International Airport and Dallas Left Field Airport. So Dallas Left Field um, is home to Southwest Airlines and runs more, um, you know, local routes um, and, you know, domestic routes versus you've got uh, DFW International Airport, which is I mean, its main airline is American Airlines, but it is also home to many international carriers. Um, and Dallas has a lot of direct flights to major cities throughout the world. So um, putting carriers Carrollton right there in kind of the middle of, of all the action, you can very quickly uh, get to either airport and, you know, go wherever you need to go to see friends, family, if you travel for work. It is a great location to get you there quickly. All right, we're going to move on to our cons. So our first con of living in Carrollton is the toll roads. So I know we mentioned the toll roads being an awesome thing um, and there's, you know, great highways to navigate, but these are very expensive highways. So um, the North Texas Tollway Authority is not playing around uh, when they say that they will offer, um, you know, just great pristine roads where there's not a lot of traffic. So you can move quickly, um, but you will pay for these roads. So we're calling it a con um, of living in Carrollton. Our second con of living in Carrollton, Texas, is congestion on the the roads. And not talking about the toll roads, um, you can move pretty quickly on those, but the interior roads of the city, uh, where all the great shops and restaurants are located, um, they're just really long stretches of, you know, congested roads. There's lots of traffic, lots of people um, moving, you know, to and fro from neighborhoods to um, these awesome shops and restaurants. But, you know, just be prepared to spend time in the car and, you know, go through lights or a lot of lights, a lot of, um, you know, traffic stops, stop signs, things like that. So though these roads are great and all the um, the wonderful shopping is is phenomenal um, do be prepared for the traffic there's you know giant influx of people coming in and so like any major city um, there's going to be stop and go traffic as you explore con number three of living in Carrollton is uh, the noise from the dart rail can be a little bit loud so you've got this DART, the Dallas Area Rapid Transit, and it's just this train, this DART rail that runs uh, north and south and actually connects Carrollton to DFW Airport and can go all the way to downtown Dallas. Um, it just maneuvers around the city and, you know, can be an awesome resource to avoid traffic. Uh, but this train, you know, as any train, runs on a track and uh, makes a lot of noise. And so, again, Again, with the the stop and go traffic that we mentioned earlier, um, it can you know you can get caught at the the train track, and also if you live near the tracks, um, there will be you know lots of noise, train noise that you'll have to get used to. Fourth con of living in Carrollton is uh, days on market. Right now, um, the inventory is turning over so quickly that it can be difficult for a buyer moving to Carrollton to 
find the right house, um, potentially win a bidding war, and execute on a contract. Um, so the the current uh, days on market is 17, and this is down from 30 year over year, this time last year. And um, it's just things are moving so quickly. And so we just see it as a con. Um, if you are moving into the area, you certainly need to work with a good local realtor who knows the market and who can maneuver quickly um, and get you into a house before that house is gone and off the market once more. All right, last but not least, our fifth con of living in Carrollton, Texas, is the, the age of the houses and the traditional style. So most of these houses were built in the 70s, 80s, 90s, and are ready for some updates. So if you're someone who likes, you know, more modern, um, or maybe mid-century modern reimagined, um, or maybe even kind of farmhouse chic. So if you're moving to Texas thinking about, you know, those style of houses, um, you can certainly live in Carrollton, but just keep in mind, um, you may need to do some renovations uh, before you get started settled or even potentially you know create a vision and flip the house to your more modern uh, you know desired outcome all right thanks for watching our video on the pros and cons of living in Carrollton Texas until next time we hope to show you around